I'm Lauren Boone on the women's swimming and diving team. Bell Huang on the gymnastics team. This is Chris Gattara, men's golf, and you're watching Nightlife. Hi again, everyone. I'm Bruce Beck. Welcome to another edition of Nightlife. Well, Greg Schiano is back on the banks. The 53-year-old Wyckoff, New Jersey native is the third winningest coach in Rutgers football history and led the team to six bowl games in his last seven years in his first tour of duty. When Greg first was here at Rutgers, his motto was, it's time. This time around, it's all in. And there's that same familiar refrain, keep chopping. I must say, I can't remember more excitement in a press room. Greg, it is just such a pleasure to have you back uh, at uh, Rutgers, and we know that this is going to be a tremendous time for us. It's time. A new era of Rutgers football and a new era of national prominence for Rutgers begins today. This is a uh, great and historic day for Rutgers University. We welcome Coach Greg Schiano back to the banks. So all of us, let's keep chopping and welcome Coach Ian. Well, it's great to be home. I can't say anymore that Rutgers is not all in. Rutgers is all in. Now it's our turn. It starts with me, our players, our fans, our boosters. Everybody's got to go all in, and it's going to take every single person. Everyone. <laughs> And we have one goal at the end of the day, one goal, to be the very best in America. It's called national champion. And there's only one of us. And that's what we're going to do, guys. But it can't happen without every one of you. Every single one of you brings your own gift to this program. And I'm telling you right now, we're going to lay it on the line. Our coaching staff, when we hire our coaching staff, is going to lay it on the line. Pat Hobbs is going to lay it on the line. I think President Parchi and the board already laid it on the line. Right? Greg Brown stood up and laid it on the line. They've made a commitment to being all in in the Big Ten. Now it's up to us. It's up to me, it's up to you, and I know you want it just as badly as I do. So it's time to get chopped and it's time to go. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. The concept of family is not only ingrained in Rutgers football, but in the Scarlet Knights wrestling program. It has helped the team deal with heartbreak and loss. I never really saw a negative side to him. You know, maybe, maybe if we were down, you know, in the dumps from cutting weight or just, but he always found a way to make me laugh. He was uh, always uh, the life of the party. You know, he walked through the door and 
I would already just have a smile on my face because just his presence would make me laugh. He was super funny, super like always like, you know, cracking jokes. I think about Sam almost every day. The 19-year-old Don Bosco graduates were killed in a car crash when the car veered off Route 287 late Sunday or early Monday morning. Callie was an elite wrestler for Rutgers. That day was uh, pretty tough. I got a text from uh, our good friend Mark McDonald. And he said, uh, hey man, have you heard from Sam today? Uh, you know, Mrs. Callie is, uh, she doesn't know where he's been. And then I realized, oh, I had Sam's location on my phone. It showed that he was on 287 um, but he wasn't on the road. He was um, off, if this was like 287, he was kind of off to the side. I Googled in that moment, uh, car accident 287, and I found like an article, it was like four hours ago maybe. So I, I screenshot, I sent it to Mark, he gets back to me and he was like, that's Leo's car. And Leo was Sam's you know, best friend from home. They were in the car together at the time and he goes, that's Leo's car, dude. Like he's dead, he's dead. Anytime somebody passes, you always hear about, we're always gonna honor them, we're always gonna remember them. Gone, but never forgotten. Is that really true? Do people really honor the people they say they're gonna honor when they pass? And I've always asked that question, you know, in the heat of the moment, sure, it's the nice thing to say, but we're fortunate enough we're able to honor him and we're able to see his name every single day. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of our offices, so our coaching staff sees it every day. The guys that come through the uh, offices see it every single day. We talk about Sam and we talk about the accident and and things like that and how, you know, this, this, this life of ours is so cherished and in one way everything could be taken away from you. It's nice when I go in there and, uh, you know, go talk to the coaches, go talk to Goody and I can just see, you know, in uh, honor and memory of Sam Cali and it's just nice to know that, uh, you know, people don't forget uh, this was something that happened four years ago. We will honor him on senior night, this year's senior class will honor Sam Cali as part of this class. We created an award in his name, we give the Red Shirt of the Year Award because Sam was red shirting that first year. We name it the Sam Cali Award. For, for the last three years, we kept the, his locker at College Ave Gymnasium. He always had that locker right in the middle of our uh, locker room, and that stayed intact until obviously we moved over to the new facility. And what we did, instead of giving away his nameplate, we uh, gave it to Jordan Pagano, who was really, really close, probably the closest with Sam. Before I put my foot on that line, I'm usually in the back, and I always, uh, you know, talk to him before I go out there and I just say like, hey, like, let's have fun, uh, let's have a good one and let's, uh, you know, let's just enjoy it. Point to him after that win and every time it, it feels better than, than the rest and, uh, you know, I, I know I'm just uh, grateful that I can, you know, share this experience with him in this final year and hopefully we get it done in March and, you know, we, we can celebrate. Need to see the doctor but can't get there? Download the Telemed app from RWJ Barnabas Health and see the doctor right away. Whenever you want, wherever you are. No matter who you are. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. It's time for Rutgers Moments of the Month. Great job by Mulcahy there, boxing out. Oh, what a no look, and he finds the cunning Yaboa. And Yaboa again has just exploded in this second half, doing a great job, a nice feed from Mulcahy. Here's Mitchell stripped by Baker. Two on one with Mathis the other way. Montez finishes with the flush. Get those printers going. Sean East on the wrong end of that one. Montez Mathis attacking the rim once again. If you put that chin on the shoulder, might be able to get him down just enough. And he does. Nick Aguilar continues. His tremendous start to the season as he wins by fall and goes to 11 and one. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, I was I was pretty nervous. You know, first time in the rack with all those fans and everything. But as soon as I kind of set in and got real comfortable with the arena and the mat, I, I started calming down a little bit, get into what I do, and then got on top, got real comfortable, and got the pin. And Rutgers champions.
in the Junkanoo division. I think we're just, we're starting to click here. And you can see that we just enjoy playing with each other. We trust each other, and that's big. Um, I never really had a teammate like teams like this. Like, and so it's new to me. So I'm just happy to be in the setting, and I wouldn't want to battle with anybody else. Time for another edition of In the Huddle with Hobbs as we talk to the director of athletics on the banks, Pat Hobbs. Good being with you, Bruce. Good to be with you. And it's all about football over the last several months. It has been a long process, but is it time to celebrate the result, Pat? There's no question. Um, this is a really exciting moment for Rutgers Athletics, Rutgers University, Rutgers football, the return of Greg Schiano and his family uh, on the banks. And uh, the feeling right now is electric. Uh, and we're already seeing it in demand for tickets, uh, interest in helping us on the facilities front. So uh, great day in Piscataway, and there's gonna be many more in the, down the road. Everyone has to be all in. Chiano talked about that in the press conference. How important is it for the state of Rutgers, so to speak, to rally behind this whole new hiring? Well, you know, that was a very important part of the negotiation. Um, you, know, you can't just say, hey, coach, come back, and we're gonna give you the team and go be successful. Um, and that's part of the conversation. I think sometimes people don't understand that is, well, what's going to be required, right? What's going to be required for this to be successful, to give coach the resources that he needs to be successful? Um, it, it's facilities, right? It's people coming to the games, as he talked about in the press conference. All of those things are required to be all in. And when you look at the great programs around this country, that's exactly where they are. Their state is all in. Uh, their, their legislature is committed. The governor is committed. Everybody's committed to that being successful. Uh, and we got off to a great start with this press conference because I think everybody sees now that we are all in. When we look at Rutgers football and the fans, they want to know one thing. Can we win? Can we win now? This is a monumental task. Do you think Greg is the man that can kind of lead this team back to that competitive aspect and then to a championship aspiration, as he mentioned? Oh, there's, there's no question. And as he said, um, we're not looking to just get back to a level of success that he brought us uh, before, but we want an even greater level of success, right? We want to go after championships, uh, and absolutely we can do that. He talked a little bit about some of the investments that we've already made in the practice fields, in the locker room, in the weight room, in our budgets around nutrition and things like that, um, but we need to do more, right? So we can, hey, look, we're here in New Jersey, and if everyone here in New Jersey pulls together and we're all going in the right direction, we're all aligned shoulder to shoulder, as we say, I don't think there's anything that could stop Rutgers. You excited about working with Greg? Oh, very excited. Very Already, just in a couple of days, uh, we think a lot alike. We're very, very detail-oriented people. Um, and uh, we, I, I think you know he'll see that everything that he has on his list is on my list. Uh, and now we need to find ways to go about getting it done as quickly as we can. And we're both really excited. Um, I, look, I love building facilities, you know that. So we're going to be having a lot of conversations in the next couple of months. All those people said they're ready to step up. Right. You're on our list. <laughs> Lightning round with Hobbs real quick. 12 seconds or less. Rutgers men's basketball program undefeated at home. Off to a good start. Thoughts? Off to a great start. We've got depth this year. We've got athleticism. We'll still find the right combinations out on the floor. But uh, we've got a great coach in Steve Peichel, and he's going to get it done too. Women's basketball, best recruiting class in the Big Ten. Off to another outstanding start. The reinvigorated, energized Vivian Stringer. Um, she's got uh, off to a great start, some really great wins. We've already had some ESPN moments there. Um, and with the new facility, she's landed the best recruiting class in the Big Ten. Wrestling program undefeated thus far. There are six ranked wrestlers. This is a program that's just getting better. It's going to keep getting better. And you know, facilities, we talk about facilities and the importance of those. Uh, the people that Scotty's getting coming in right now on the recruiting trail uh, into the RWJ Barnabas Health APC. Tremendous, and it's going to be electric in the rack. Hobbs, time to settle down and just get back to your office now, right? Well, settle down to the normal <laughs> frantic pace of being AD at Rutgers That's University. That's normal. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. All right. Up next, we've got women's golfers teaching the men's basketball team how to drive a golf ball. Why did they just they bring just me teach in? us? I know. <laughs> I should have come in and just showed them. So you're going to try to put your feet together and then spread them out about hip width apart and then try to bend your knees 
and bend over a little bit. Kind of like an athletic stance if you guys are capable of that. If anyone here is athletic. The left arm on top of the right one on the bottom. And then you're going to want to rotate your shoulders back and make an L, but we don't take any of those. And then you're gonna smoothly like transition down and then finish, yeah, and then try to like hold it like your Tiger Woods and you're getting your picture taken. There you go. go forward and then stand farther away from the ball. There you go. Okay, now rotate back. Yeah, do the L. Oh, there's a P on it. Where's the short shot spot? You know what? It's a little short shot. No, it's a short shot. Uh, chip. A little chip. Oh my god, go! Oh! Whoa! Yeah. First try? Solid, nice. right? Solid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who just hit the target? That's a winner. That's a winner. Best teachers right here. That's a winner. Are we doing drivers? Yeah. Yes. So now we're going to hit driver, which is relatively the same thing. But we're going to put it on the big tee. And then instead of like swinging up and down, we're going to swing more up and down. Finish high. No, no, rough start, rough start. We're getting better though. Oh, that's, no, that, that, that doesn't that, count. That, that don't count. That don't count. Okay. Oh. We don't see that here. I know what you Swing out. think is going to happen in this match today? We got Shaq versus Leah. Um, I think it's a really, really um, strong match. I think, oh, Leah just had a really, really good one. Leah Devine at a whopping 245.1. Shaq, Shaq's definitely nervous, but you know, uh, you know, I have faith in my boy. Really uh, performs well under pressure. That's gone. My last one was 120. We were actually very excited to get Shaq. We saw that he had a lot of potential, a lot of talent. He seemed to have a really good backswing when we first started. I feel like he was pretty good. You know, it's just some, it's my teachers. They did a really good job of teaching me how to swing and stuff. So I give them the props. The men's and women's basketball teams are off to strong starts. The strength of the wrestling program has caught our eye too. Add that in with the Greg Schiano press conference for the ages, and there's no wonder why energy, enthusiasm, and positivity reign supreme on the banks. For Nightlife, I'm Bruce Beck.